we have a simple circuit, two current sources, one voltage source, and our task is to find this voltage. We will solve this problem using nodal analysis and then a source transformation approach. So at first nodal analysis. Uh, we have to formulate nodal equations. Uh, please observe that in this circuit one branch is a resistiveless branch, uh, namely this branch contains an ideal voltage source, resistance is zero. Then it is recommended to assign a reference node to one of these two nodes, for example this one. Then we have node number one and node number two. Let me formulate nodal equations. At first for node number one, v sub one, one over four, which is conductance of this branch, one over eight, which is conductance of this branch. We know that conductances of a current sources are zero. Minus v sub two multiplied by a conductance that connects no, mm, uh, node number one and node number two. And at the right side we have source currents minus 0 0.5 and minus one. Uh, obviously we know voltage of node number two. This voltage is forced by this ideal voltage source. This voltage is six. And then there is no need to write down the equation for uh, this uh, node, node number two. From this single equation, we will find that uh, voltage V sub one is minus two, which means that voltage that we are looking for is two volt. Now, same problem, a different approach, a source transformation. Please observe that at the left and at the right, we have a practical source uh, described by its Norton equivalent. We may then transform uh, Norton equivalent to Thevenin equivalent using these formulas, uh, having a short circuit current and uh, resistance, total resistance, we may calculate open circuit voltage. For both circuits at the left, practical sources at the left, now 4 volt, it is a product of 0 0.5 and 8, that is 4 volt is a product of 4 and 1. We have obtained a mesh circuit, it is quite easy then to find voltage, at first we have to find a current mesh current, this mesh current is algebraic sum of uh, voltage sources divided by sum of resistances and this mesh current as you can see is 0 0.5 if we have this current we may calculate this voltage drop and from ohm's law and having this voltage drop and this voltage we may easily find that our voltage voltage that we are looking for is 2 volt same as before we may verify our solution by means of p spice and at least at the right side and below a fragment of the output file. Obviously our voltage is 2 volt.